Please don't forget. Hello everyone, this is Jacorian Channel and we're going to be reviewing 2016's Suicide Squad Extended Cut Steelbook. And if I'm not mistaken, this is one of Best Buy's exclusives, but I did not get this from Best Buy, I picked it up at Walmart. Yesterday, I did a voting poll on Instagram on which steelbooks I should do a review, and this one got the most votes. And now, we can continue on with our review. I picked this up at Walmart right before COVID-19 happened, and this was actually my first steelbook. And first impressions when I first got it, I thought it was really cool looking, and I really wanted to collect pretty much every, like, exclusive or whatever involving 2016 Suicide Squad because if y'all know me, I am a huge 2016 Suicide Squad fan despite the hate the movie gets. But nevertheless, I really love the film and even if the air cut comes out, this one will still hold a, a place in my heart because this movie really made my year in 2016 along with Batman vs Superman. And this steelbook is pretty much what started my steelbook collection. Because ever since I picked this up, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much the start of me wanting to get all of the steelbooks that I have now. Now when I remove the J card, which is kind of funny since the Joker is right on the cover, it's a lot better looking without the J card. But I keep it on because I'm a collector. I like to keep things the way they were as I got it. But... This is the front and this is the the art on the back. I really love how this looks. It gives me strong comic book vibes. I really love the colors in the background. It really brings me back to 2016 to when I first got it. Sorry, my mistake when I first saw the trailers and saw the movie. But then again, it's still my favorite movie despite the hate it gets for, I don't know, like creative differences between Warner Brothers and David Ayer. I really want to see what David Ayer's original vision would have been like for the film, but that's probably going to be a while. But since the Warner Brothers Discovery merger is now a thing, we'll probably get it soon, and they have been teasing a lot of stuff lately. Here is the inside of the steelbook, and you get two discs, one being the extended cut, and the back being the theatrical cut of the film and the inside of the steelbook is it's okay but I still think it's cool we have like one of the scenes that's in the movie if I'm not mistaken I think it's the the building shootout it's it's been a bit because I used to watch this f film so many times and now I I, I watch it every once in a while so I kind of forgot where everything is but I still remember the lines and quotes and whatever but yeah this is the the inside of the steelbook you get Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, Rick Flag, Katana, uh, Killer Croc and Harley Quinn now even though Diablo is not to be seen because he doesn't like take he doesn't really join in on the battle but it's still a cool picture there and you also get the the cast at the bottom there but yeah this is one of my favorite steelbooks it's my first steelbook that started my steelbook collections and yeah if y'all enjoyed this video please give this a big thumbs up and subscribe it'll help motivate me bring more content to you guys in the future and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a new video and share this video with your friends and comment down below what do y'all think about the steelbook and what do y'all think about the movie in general and comment down below if y'all want the air cut to be released Anyways, have fun, stay safe, stay crazy, my foes, Suicide Squadrons out there, and I'll see y'all later today. Bye, everyone.